Yo, yeah, hello there, welcome back my fellow pixelators, it's up at Lucky HG here, and today we are learning another Minecraft pixel tutorial build on Luffy from the Water Arc, and today we are going to be doing part 9 of the tutorial. Without further ado, let's hop straight into the tutorial. Today we are going to be doing the scar, and probably getting in most of the face, as the face is small, so there shouldn't be too much to do, but we'll see how much we're going to do. First of all, we'll start off with the scar, we're going to start off on the left hand side this time. So we're going to start with the one sticking up over here. So we want to fly in towards this one sticking up here. Now we're just going to place a gold block in this one here just so you can see where we are going off. We are going to be going off this one to the left right here. So I'm going to fly back in. Once I have flown back in towards here, we are going to start off by placing two right diagonals from here. So one and two. From the second one, we're going to place one on top. We're then going to do a up right diagonal. Then we're going to fly back down to where we just left off previously so just this one that we placed on top here basically once we have gone back to this one that we placed on top here this two we're going to place one to the left just like so now once we've done this we want to fly back to this upright diagonal that we did once we've flown back to here we want to place one on top just like so we then want to do another upright diagonal from here and to place one on top just like so then we're going to do two upright diagonals from here so one and two and from the second one we're just going to place one on top and there we go once we have done this we're going to do another two and right diagonals so one and two and then place one on top just like so and there we go that little area there is done now once we have done this area we're going to be flying over to the one that we placed to the left over here so fly back towards here once we've flown back towards here we're going to start off by placing one on top just like so. Then I'm going to do a up left diagonal from here. From this up left diagonal, we're going to place two on top. So one, two. We're then going to do a up right diagonal. And then fly back down from where we just did the up right diagonal from. So back to this three here. And we're going to do a up left diagonal from here. So we should be looking like that basically. Once we have done this, fly back to the up right diagonal that we did. And place one on top, just like so. We're then going to do three upright diagonals from here. So one, two, and three. From the third one, place one on top, just like so. Then repeat this two here two more times in a upright diagonal direction. So do an upright diagonal, place one on top, that's one. And do another upright diagonal, place another one on top, and that's two. As you can see, that is three of those twos in total going in an upright diagonal direction. One, two, and three. Once we have done three of those in total, fly back to the up left diagonal that we did. From this up left diagonal, we're going to do another up left diagonal. And we're going to place one on top, just like so. And there we go. Once we have done that, do another up left diagonal from here. And then we're going to place two on top. So one, two. Then place one to the left, and then fly back into the right by one. So back into this upright corner here, and we're going to do two upright diagonals from here. So one and two. We're then going to place one on top of the second one, just like so. And do three upright diagonals from here. So one, two, and three. And then once you've done that, zoom out and fly back to the one that we placed to the left over here so we're going to fly back in towards here and once we have flown back in towards here we're going to start off by doing three up left diagonals from here so one two and three from this third one we're going to place one on top just like so then i'm going to do another up left diagonal from here and place a three on top this time so one two and three but then i'm going to place one going to the left Fly into the right by one, so back into this upright corner here. Once we are back in this upright corner here, we're going to start off with doing two upright diagonals from here. One and two. Now once we've done this two here, fly back to the one to the left here. Once we've flown back to this one going to the left here, we want to do a up left diagonal from here. From this up left diagonal, we're going to do three upright diagonals. So one, two and three and there we go once you've done three right diagonals from that up left diagonal that we did we want to fly back to the up left diagonal basically going from here 
So back to this area right here. Once we've flown back to here, we want to do another up left diagonal, just like so. And we want to place one on top this time. There we go. And then we're going to do two up left diagonals from here. So one and two. And once we've done two up left diagonals from that two there, we want to do a two up right diagonals from this second one here. So one and two. Once we've done that, fly back to this spot right here. So basically this second up left diagonal that we did. So once we've flown back to here, we want to do another two up left diagonals from here. So one and two. From the second one, we want to place one on top just like so. We then want to do another up left diagonal from here. And from this up left diagonal, we want to place one on top and place one to the right. And fly back and towards the left by one, so back to this up left corner right here. We then want to place one going to the left, then one on top, and then place one to the right, just like so. Now once we've done this, I'm going to fly out and zoom out and see what we've done. So that's what we've done so far. And once we've done this, we want to fly back to the one sticking out to the right here. Once we've flown back to this one sticking out to the right here, we're going to do a bottom right diagonal from here. From this bottom right diagonal, we're going to place two going to the right. So one, two. We then want to do a bottom right diagonal from here. And from this bottom right diagonal, as you can see, it connects to this one, which we had the two up right diagonals going up by. And continuing on from here, from this bottom right diagonal that we just done, so this one right here, we're going to place one to the right, just like so. So we should be looking like that, basically. Once we have done that though, flying back to the one that we placed to the right, we want to do two bottom right diagonals from here. So one and two. Now, once we've done two from here, what we're going to do is we're going to place one to the right and place one underneath and then place one to the right from the one that we just placed underneath. So we should be looking like that. And I think see it does connect that one underneath to the one that we did three at right diagonals from and the very third one just like so and we place one to the right of the one that we place underneath so basically in the middle and we should be looking like that so i'll zoom out like fully so you can see everything in total so that's what it should be looking like these areas and then once we have done that though we are going to fly back to the one sticking out to the right once we're flying back to this one here we're going to do a bottom right diagonal from this bottom right diagonal we're going to place two going to the right so one two then do two bottom right diagonals from here. So one and two. From the second one, we want to place one to the right, just like so. Then we're going to do another bottom right diagonal from here. And this time, place two going to the right. So one, two. There we go. So then that, do another bottom right diagonal from here. This time, place one to the right. And then we're going to do two bottom right diagonals from this one here. So one and two. From the second bottom right diagonal, we're going to place one going to the right, just like so. And now once we've done this, we're going to repeat this two here three more times in a bottom right diagonal direction. So do a bottom right diagonal, place one to the right, that's one, that's two, and that's three. So that should be four bottom right diagonals of those two in total. One, two, three. And four and there we go so we've got four of those back going flying back in towards the end one here we're going to do two bottom right diagonals from the end of this two so one and two then we're going to do an upright diagonal from here and from this upright diagonal we're going to place one on top just like so we're then going to do another upright diagonal from here and then we're going to do another upright diagonal and then we're going to do a bottom right diagonal from here so we should be looking like that right there. And once we've done this, we're going to place one going to the right from here. And then we're going to place one on top for now. Then fly underneath. And then underneath, we're going to place one underneath. Then place one to the right. Then fly in towards the left by one, so into here. And then place one underneath from here. Now once we've done this, we want to fly back to the one that we placed on top and complete this little area here. And once we're flying back to this one here to complete this area, all we need to do is take out our black concrete and we're just going to place 14 going up from here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 and 14. Now once we've done 14 going up here, 
I'm going to take out our gold block and we're just going to place three going up from here. So one, two and three. And then just place one to our left. And then there you go. As you can see with our gold blocks, we just connect just like so to the left of this knot for Luffy's straw hat. And what does that mean? That just means we've basically lined up everything correctly. Everything connects. Everything is completely and utterly smooth. And we've just done everything correctly so far. Once we have done this though, we are going to destroy those gold blocks. And we're going to fly back down to the one that we've placed to the right over here with our black concrete. Once we have flown back to this one that we placed to the right, we are going to start off by doing two upright diagonals from here. So one and two. From the second upright diagonal, we're going to do a bottom right diagonal. Oh, didn't mean to break that. Place that back. Right. From this bottom right diagonal that we did, we are going to do another bottom right diagonal from here. And this time, we're going to place one going to the right, just like so. Then, we're going to do a up right diagonal from here. From this up right diagonal, we're going to place two to the right. So, one, two. We're then going to do another up right diagonal from here. And place one to the right, just like so. Then, do another up right diagonal. And place another one going to the right. And there we go. And from here, we're going to do three up right diagonals. So, one two and three from this third one place one to the right just like so we're then going to do another upright diagonal then from this upright diagonal here we're going to place one going to the right we're then going to place one on top and then we're going to fly underneath by one so back to this one here and then we're going to place two going underneath so one two and then we're actually going to fly back up to the top so we actually will come back to here but it might be easier if we go along back and then go back up. It'd be easier basically to explain. So once we have flown back up to the one up here though, we're going to start off by placing two to the right. So one, two. But I'm going to do two right diagonals from here. So one and two. From the second upright diagonal, we're going to place two going to the right. One and two. But I'm going to place one on top and fly underneath. And place one underneath and then fly back up to the one placed on top again it'll be easier to explain it when we go back down but flying back up to the one that we placed on top place one to the right just like so we're then going to do a up right diagonal from this one to the right just like so and then we're going to place one going to the right and place one underneath and fly up by one so back up to here and place one on top and then place one to the right from this one that we place to the right, do an upright diagonal. Then place two going to the right. So one, two. Then place one on top. Then fly underneath. Place one underneath. And then do a bottom right diagonal from the one that we place underneath. Just like so. Once we've done this, fly back up to the one that we place on top up here. Then place one to the right from here. And then do a upright diagonal from here. From this upright diagonal, place two to the right. So one, two. And then do another upright diagonal from here and place one to the right. And then we're going to place one on top and then we're going to do an upright diagonal from here. We're then going to place one to the right just like so. We're then going to place two underneath, so one and two. And then do a bottom left diagonal. From this bottom left diagonal, place one to the left. As you can see, this one that we placed to the left just connects to this kind of corner piece that, well, that was like a kind of l-shaped backwards whatever you call it just like so basically it looks like three going underneath basically but once we have placed this one going to the left we're also going to place one underneath so it looks like that so it's four in total once we have done that though from this one that we place underneath we are going to do two bottom left diagonals from here so one and two from the second bottom left diagonal i'm going to place one underneath just like so and i'm going to do another two bottom left diagonals one and two once again place one underneath then do another two bottom left diagonals so one and two and then from this one here we're going to place one underneath and fly it by one so back up to the top of this bottom left diagonal which is by two so back up to the top of it and we're going to do three up left diagonals from here so one two and three as you can see these three up left diagonals connect in another up in four up left diagonal direction to the one sticking out basically underneath here 
If you include that one, it is basically like a fourth one. But as you can see, these three up left diagonals do connect to this one that's sticking out underneath here. Once we have done that though, fly back to this end two here that's going down. So back to this little section here. Once we are flowing back to this section here though, we're going to do a bottom left diagonal from here. We're then going to place one underneath just like so. And then we're going to do another bottom left diagonal from here. And from this bottom left diagonal, we're going to place one to the left, then place two underneath, so one and two. And fly back up to the top of it, so back up to this left corner here, and place one on top, just like so. Then do another left diagonal from here, and place one on top. And then we're going to do two left diagonals, so one and two. As you can see, these two left diagonals connect to this one that was sticking down by one under here. And once we have connected that area there, fly back down to this area here that's going two underneath with the one to the right and the one above it, just like so. So basically back to this point here where we're going underneath. Once we are back at this point here, we are going to do two bottom left diagonals from here. So one and two. From the second one, place one underneath, just like so. And do another bottom left diagonal and place another one underneath again just like so then do another two bottom left diagonals from here so one and two and from the second one place one going to the left just like so then we're going to place one underneath and then we're going to fly back up and we're going to place one on top and from this one on top we're going to do a left diagonal from here but I'm going to place two on top so one and two and I'm going to repeat this through here two more times in a up left diagonal direction and we should connect back up to these two that are sticking out underneath here. So, do a up left diagonal, place two on top, that's one. Another up left diagonal, place two on top, and there we go. That is two. And that should be three of those in total, and as you can see we do connect to this two sticking out. And that's one three, two three, and three three. So that means we have done everything correctly here so far one more little bit to do though flying back down to the bottom to connect these last parts from this one that's sticking out underneath here we're just going to do a bottom left diagonal so just place one on top of that one there as you can see it looks like a two going up and then there we go now there's one more little part to do inside as well once we have done this though we want to fly to these two sticking out to the left of this four in total here so basically the very start of the scar in the inside bit here and we want to fly to this singular up left diagonal here once we have flown to this singular up left diagonal take out your gold block just like so we're then going to place three on top of it so one two and three and there we go we should be looking like that three going up from the singular up left diagonal and then take out our black concrete and place two on top of the gold blocks so one two and then repeat this two here two more times in a up left diagonal direction. So an up left diagonal, place one on top, that's one. And then that's two. As you can see, that's three of those twos in total. Once we have done that, destroy those gold blocks. And now we're just going to zoom out. And as you can see, that is everything so far complete. And once again, I'm going to change my mind. And I know I always change my mind by doing these builds, but I never know how it's going to go. But... There is one more little sector we're going to do, but I'm going to leave the faces separately. Also, it's actually kind of nicer to leave these separately because they're not super long. And as I said before, by the time this video is being uploaded, I'm on holiday. So, you know, it's nicer to have it in small footages right now because it's easier for you to do. Easier for me to edit and record. And it's also easier for me to pre-record because I am on holiday. And I don't want a super long video where I'm not going to be able to edit it because of, you know, probably crappy internet. With that being said though, we want to fly back into the scar and we're going to complete the very last outline on the body to do. And while we're flying over to the body, I actually just realised there is a, another piece that we are going to do over here as well. But anyway, flying back up to the scar, we want to fly to the right of this scar. And what we want to do once we've flown to the right of the scar, we're going to take out our gold block again. And from the right of this scar, we are going to do a up right diagonal from here. And from this upright diagonal that we did, we're going to place two going up. So one, two. As you can see, it looks like a three and turtle going up from here. Now, we're going to take out a black concrete. And we're going to place one on top, just like so. 
Then I'm going to do a bottom right diagonal from here. Then I'm going to place one to the right. I'm going to do a upright diagonal. From this upright diagonal, place one to the right. Then fly back down to the first two here. So once we're flying back to this first two here, we want to be flying to the second one going to the right. We'll be the upright diagonal with another one to the right too. So this one right here. And with our black concrete, we're going to place one going underneath just like so. Then I want to do three bottom right diagonals from here. So one, two, and three. We don't want to place one underneath just like so. We don't want to do two bottom right diagonals from here. So one and two. And there we go. We're just going to zoom out and that should be that little area there done. And before we zoom out, let's destroy those gold blocks. Don't want to keep those there. Right, there we go. Destroyed those. And now we're going to move on to the very final part. Which I almost missed, you know, luckily I saw it. Right, moving on to that final part though. We want to be flying over to the right hand side again. And there's a little uh, more sh kind of shading to do. Kind of it just, this like uh, lines you see, it just marks the arm so you can see kind of where it's uh, bending and all that sort of stuff. Which I I'm assuming you get what I mean by that. But we are going to be flying over to the right hand side over here. And to which, where we're going to be going off. We're going to be going off this this bit here, where it kind of looks like two upright diagonals sticking up. Not these two at the bottom, because it's got like a two up. Just these two right here with a big thick line going up here, which you can see on my screen. And you should be able to see on your screen as well where that area is. But I'll place a gold block where we're going to be going off. We're going to be going off this area here. And we're going to be going above this second upright diagonal looking like right here. So I'll zoom out. That's where we're going to be going off. I'm going to fly back in towards here. Now, from this area here, we are going to start by placing one on top of here, just like so. Then, once we have placed one on top of here with our gold block, we are going to be placing another three going to the left. So, one, two, and three. As you can see, there looks like four gold blocks going to the left, just like so. Once we have done this, though, take out our black concrete, place one to the left of the gold block, then do a up left diagonal. From this up left diagonal, we're going to place one on top and fly down by one, so back down to the bottom of it here, and do a bottom left diagonal from here. From this bottom left diagonal, place one underneath, then place one to the left, then fly back in towards the right, so back into this bottom right corner here, and do a bottom right diagonal from here, then place one underneath. Once we've done this, fly back to the one that we placed to the left over here, so back to here. Once we've flown back to this one, sticking out to the left here, do two bottom left diagonals from here. So one, and two. From the second one, place one to the left just like so, and do another bottom left diagonal, and place another one to the left. And there we go. That's what that little area should be looking like there. And destroy the gold blocks, which I will not forget this time while I'm zooming out all the way. <laughs> and there we go. And that should be the entirety of the body done now. So that means we have done literally everything in the area. There is, again, one more outline to do. Well, technically two, but as, as I said before, the sword is different. Don't need to describe how we're doing that. So I will describe it as well a bit more when we actually get into it. But again, that is everything done. All we have to do now is the face. And after the face, we fill in the sword, which might be a bit long, but... I'll try and get all that done in one video if I can, but we'll see how long it takes, because we're doing it in a different method. And then we're going to be moving on to a bit of the easier way, the shade, which is just doing the outline again, like we did with the black concrete, but with the shading blocks. But that is everything for today in part 9, done. And if you enjoyed this build, feel free to hit the like button and subscribe as well. I know it's quite short, these next videos are going to be quite short, or they're going to be normal time-ish, or a bit longer. It depends really which one I'm doing, but as I said before, by the time this is being uploaded, I am on holiday, so so I am actually editing while I'm on holiday as well, which, you know, could be somewhat painful, but I enjoy what I'm doing at the moment, so, and I want to get content out for you, and I want you, you know, to complete this build. With those notes being said, though, bye, enjoy the rest of your day, and peace out.